Welcome back. We have acquired a number of items that we could use in town. Namely, uh, a pair of shoes that we can give to uh, the shoemaker. This is the finest pair of shoes Graham has ever seen. Although a bit small for his feet. Maybe they can put that to good use. And we've gotten his marionette. The craftsmanship of the marionette is superb. Which hopefully the toy maker will take and trade for the sled. This is a large golden needle. And finally that golden needle, which hopefully the tailor will take and trade for the uh, cloak. Now, if I'm not mistaken, something's gonna happen on this screen. Something seemingly innocuous, but deceptively important. Suddenly, frantic squeakings alert Graham to a mangy cat chasing a terrified rat. There it goes. This is the baker's cat, by the looks of it. And you have to save this rat under the theme of um, helping animals, I guess, which um, we do a lot in this game, which is accomplished by throwing the shoe at them. animal that might uh, randomly help us sometime in the uh, future. And I do believe that you can actually use the stick on the cat as well and the boot on the dog at the anthill earlier. Add note that you get only one chance to do this. If you miss out on your chance of saving a rat the first time around, they will never come back and the game will be unwinnable. Furthermore, it is not clear what we just accomplished by saving the rat. Obviously, he'll help us, but with what? You don't know. There's actually something we've done before that will have a different result now that we've saved the rat. And since there's no clue of that, no indication whatsoever, I don't really know how you're supposed to um, realize that, other than by chance. But then again, that's sort of the theme of this game, isn't it? A lot of illogical puzzles. This is certainly one of the worst. Anyway, let's see if we can trade some of these items. May I help you, sir? Yes, you may. We found this gold needle. My golden needle! Wherever did you find it? It was in a haystack by the country inn. By the inn? Oh yes, I remember visiting there not long ago. Oh vulgar man, that innkeeper. He has no scruples at all. Well, I'm glad to see you've got your golden needle back. I wonder, could you possibly see fit to give me that wonderful cloak in exchange for it? The cloak? Well, why not? It's yours. For the price of a golden needle. Thank you, kind sir. I'm sure it will help me on my travel. I'm sure it will. Good luck. Au revoir. Wait, he's French? So we have a French tailor and a German toy maker in this town. Quite the multicultural society. But good, we've gotten a cloak. Which will hopefully keep us warm in the mountains later. Now let's see about that sled. Come on in, look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. 
We are interested in the sled, and maybe you would take this marionette in trade. Papa, where did you put those new door clothes Mama made? Look in this trunk upstairs. I think I put them there. I'll do that. Grandpapa? Yeah, my darling? Can I keep this doll? I don't now, Katrina. Alright, Grandpapa. I'll you already heard over. that uh, conversation before. <coughs> Though did you get this wonderful marionette? The craftsmanship is excellent. Well, I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. I must have it. Can I buy it from you? Actually, you may have it if you'll give me the sled in trade. Why, of course. But I must tell you, I think I'm getting the better deal. I, I can always make another sled, but finding another marionette of this quality. Ich weiß nicht. So, can I have the sled? Yeah, yeah, take it, it's yours. Thank you very much. I think I'll find this sled very useful. Well, you enjoy it, and danke for the marionette. And Graham stuffs the sled into his pocket. Somehow. And finally, let's see if we can uh, make the old couple happy with that pair of shoes we got from the elves. It's you again, is it? We still don't have any shoes for sale. But I've got some shoes to give you. What have we here? Mama, take those shoes from the young man. Let me see them. These are the finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable, yet sturdy. The craftsmanship of these shoes are superb. And Mama, look at the solid gold buckle. Why, well, I could retire from the sale of these shoes. Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I could find a better use for them. You are a god, says young man. How can we ever repay you? You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Since I'll be retiring, I won't need it anymore. Thanks to you. Why, thank you. A hammer could be very useful on my journey. Take care, young man. We'll never forget this. That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. You'll be in our hearts from now on. Come on, Mama, let's go home. Let's celebrate our good fortune. Funny that they call Graham a young man. He's not so young anymore. He's got gray hair already. Although he is still uh, in very good shape, I have to say. Alright, we have one thing left to do before we can uh, try to deal with that snake. Which is, we have to go back to the inn. Because that is the thing I was... Um, hinting at earlier, the thing that changes after you've saved the rat. Last time we went to the inn, we were caught with no means of escape. And there was no indication whatsoever that you could do anything to change that outcome. So again, I have to ask how were the game designers expecting you to figure any of this out? I don't know. I guess they were just expecting you to randomly try this at regular intervals just to see if you might have had some way to change the outcome. I don't know. All 
right. Let's get captured again. Gentlemen, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Diana's full ain't got no more rooms. Hey boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. Struggle as he might, Graham could not escape his bonds. But the rat comes to help us! I told you I'd repay your kindness when you saved me from that horrible cat! Good luck, friend! There really was no clue whatsoever that that could work. Except maybe the fact that there's a... A mouse hole, or I guess a rat hole here. But honestly, would you have thought of that? I wouldn't have. Anyway, there's some rope left behind here. Lying in a heap on the stone floor, Graham sees the rope that once held him captive. Which could be useful Graham later. stoops down and picks up the sturdy rope from the stone floor. Now to get out of here before the uh, innkeeper realizes what happens. A rusty padlock Securing the door prevents Graham from leaving the cellar. Okay, well that sucks. By the way, I don't think this inn gets a lot of customers if this is how the innkeeper normally treats his guests. Anyway, in order to get past the padlock, we need to use the cobbler's hammer. Of course, if you got here before trading the shoes with the cobbler, you would be stuck again with no option but to restore and no clue whatsoever that it is a hammer that you need to uh, get out of here. Using the cobbler's hammer, Graham pounds on the rusty padlock until it breaks apart. And now we are in what looks like the kitchen of the inn. And we'll see if there's anything of interest here in the next video.